Hey guys, Mike here. Just wanted to give a quick video on how to modify your blinkers. So right now I've got the TJM bumper and that's on one, my 100 series. And anyone who has this knows that there's these factory lights normally here. Um, I've been working with Ben from 3D Prints um, who actually, I sent him the blinker from the factory TJM bumper. And uh, yeah, he sent me back this awesome um, replacement that actually mounts this S2 in there and it is phenomenal. Um, I will have to post some photos in there and uh, I love them. Now the issue is, as you guys probably know, is you lose your blinker whenever you take those out. So I went ahead and brainstormed a little bit and uh, so as you can see here, this is a pigtail and this is basically just a universal and um, this is a awesome little setup that you just basically drill and plug it in. So what we're going to do today, and this is just going to be a very quick video, is we're going to remove this tail light or this housing here, and we're going to drill right in the middle here. And uh, that's going to allow us to go ahead and install our blinker. And I'm going to show you what that looks like, just like this here. So we're going to have our parking lights. And what's nice about it being right there is even in the daytime, it is completely visible. And uh, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and turn our headlights on. So we still have our factory parking lights, but we also have now incorporate a blinker. And in my opinion, I think this just looks a lot cleaner, um, especially now that I have these here, we're gonna go ahead and rock that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so in order to do this, pretty much just gonna need the pigtails, and I will link those in the description. Some wedge bulbs, any color of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down there. And then very carefully pull these out without breaking them is the key. Very careful, you just peel that out. And just be careful not to break this piece here. And we're simply just gonna go ahead and unclip this here. Now, normally I would show you guys how to do the wiring and all that fun stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna need to splice your wires and bring it up here. Um, if you can't find a blinker wires, probably should be doing this with mod, but we'll digress. And uh, next here, we're gonna take our step bit. And we're slowly going to drill this way here. And we just want enough that it's snug. to get all of this plastic out of here. Just give it a quick shake. Good enough for me. And uh, as you guys can see, this is all we did. Basically just drill a hole that's big enough to fit the light and the pigtail in. I'm gonna bring you guys closer here now. It's a little shaky. It's not normally how I do my videos, but I'm working on a time crunch and my phone was the easiest. So now that we've got all of this little shavings out, there's still some in here. All right, so we're gonna test fit this in here. easy Let's plug our light back in and simply reinstall our light and grab our screwdriver 
this in. You're probably gonna hear some thunder here. So we've got a severe storm warning. But that's it, guys. I'm gonna go show you on the blinker. Just that easy. Looks almost factory. And it is gonna give you legal blinkers still on a factory housing and you go ahead and get the access to the baja designs and really quickly i'm going to pull you guys off the tripod and i'm going to show you the baja designs in the factory tjm location. all right so as you guys can see we now have baja designs s2s in the factory fog lights and then we also have legal blinkers in the factory location and they are quite visible. I might change those out to an orange LED, um, but overall, I'm pretty damn happy with it. So hopefully that helps anyone who is looking to rock Ben's uh, bumper inserts. And let me actually show you how his is set up. This is one of the original ones that he sent me. And this kind of shows you the work that went into this and he does an amazing amazing job at printing this stuff up your Baja design fits right in there and it's just that easy and man does that look killer so hopefully that helps anyone looking to do this modification or for anyone who's looking just to move their blinkers up because they went with a aftermarket bumper that uh, doesn't use the uh, factory fog lights so hopefully that helps guys